wild story <laughs> of the week here. Wild story of the week. Um, this, I, I, I think this is anonymous. I'm not sure. David, our intern, did not have a name on this. So I'm going to go ahead and say this is anonymous. So here we go. T of hole 13. Glow golf. Pitch black. I have the box. The throw is over a river. River in front of the tee box is the bank with long grass going down to the water. As I'm throwing, something stands up from about six feet in front of me. Coughs and takes a couple big steps towards me. At least it's at least it sure seemed like big steps. I scream like a little girl, turn <laughs> and flee for my life. My, my card hears a few creatures run and splash upstream. Upon seeing a little brown body, they start laughing their butts off about how scared I was of the local beavers. A few <laughs> minutes later, we have all recovered enough to throw. We walk upstream where there is a bridge to cross the river. As we cross, someone looks down and notices something interesting. A wet and obliviously pissed off mama bear standing in front of her cubs and staring us down. Now when we play glow golf, I always make sure someone beats me on hole 12. Wow. <laughs> it's a, they thought it was a beaver, but it ended up being a bear. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, and a pissed off mama bear too. That's something that you don't mess with. Holy no. smokes. That's an amazing story. The, the craziest thing I've seen out in the wild was a moose. And it was yeah. so terrifying. I, I mean, it was maybe 200 feet away. So it wasn't very close. But I, I stopped in my tracks and immediately turned around and ran the opposite direction. Do you know what? I have a crazy, a crazy glow golf story what do you uh, hit him with it all right so in arizona there's this course called papago park and it's a, an amazing glow golf course so it's desert course but it has a stream that runs through it and there's like two or three splotches of islands where the the stream goes and then goes around a big island and in those big islands there's huge like uh cattails and bamboo that shoots up you know what i mean so it makes this really cool like island green can't see anything it's pitch black out there it's really cool too because it's like on a kind of a slope down and so you can see all of scottsdale behind it all lit up right but i mean this place is dark so we're playing and it's a doubles it's a doubles deal and I throw my disc to the other side of the creek so it's out of bounds. And I notice that a little kid is like hiding in the bushes. Oh, and I'm like, creepy. what the heck? Like, why is there a little kid out there? Well, me and my buddy at the time, his name's Rex Rogers. He plays there all the time. And I'm like, I got to go get my disc. I think this kid's going to steal it because he's like looking at it. And sure enough, he runs over there grabs my disc and he takes off running towards the fence. So there's this huge fence on the side of the park that has barbed wire that circle barbed wire at top because there's a facility um, right, right by this course. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to catch this kid. He's not getting away with my disc. So I'm chasing this kid running <laughs> through like the, uh, through the bamboo and through the thing, jumping over the Creek and I'm like, dang, this little guy's fast. <laughs> like, what is this? We get to the barbed wire fence, and this thing goes Ch -ch 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 -ch, straight over the fence. Like nothing I've ever seen in my life, Brody. I stop in my tracks and I'm like, and I'm like, what the heck? And I take on, I book it the other direction because I'm like, okay, that's not right. I asked my buddy Rex, I'm like, dude, did you see that? He's like, yeah, what was that? I'm like, it wasn't a kid. <laughs> to this day, I don't know what it was. Oh, you still don't know? No clue. Dude, it took my disc. <laughs> it was running like a little kid and trounced up this like eight foot fence over the barbed wire on the other side and took off into the facility. Now. Like an elf? <laughs> dude i have no clue i'm trying to think but, of small things that are magical <laughs> dude it was insane so this facility is like has like all kinds of different science experiments and go and stuff that goes on in oh, it like no. it, you're not allowed in and out of there bro 
I don't know what it was. I'll let someone the viewers ex- decide what, what the heck it is. Escape the ex- sale side. It was terrifying every time I ever would go back and go to that like little island green. Dude, it gives me the heebie jeebies because of that. I'm not a huge it's fan terrifying. of like the yeah, I, I there's the darkness, there's so many things that aren't scary at all, all of a sudden become scary in the darkness. Not a fan. Not a fan. I'm not someone that sleeps with a nightlight, but you know, I try to <laughs> try to I stay didn't sleep away. for days. Dude, this is scary, man. I wouldn't I've either. never seen anything scale. First of all, I'm like, okay, this this little guy's quick. You know what I mean? Like, all right, like he's got he's got some wheels on him, you know. But when he scaled that fence, I'm telling you, he scaled it like this. Boop. He was right over the top. And I'm yeah. like, and then wasn't affected by the barbed wire. That would have that would have no, been the thing like that would have freaked on the me other out. Side. It's like, how did he just get through that with no, without even worry about the barbed wire? All right. Well, if you guys have crazy stories and you want us to read them right here live on Tour Life, send them in to our intern David at Wild Story Tour at gmail.com that is wild story tour at gmail.com 